I think there are a few immediate things that we could be doing. Uh, the first is there are various mechanisms to raise concerns in part. Uh, there's a spectrum of things we can do from putting down questions to getting a, uh, a, 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 a I, I don't know what you call it at your end, but one of those debates in the in the Westminster Hall. There are lots and lots of, of ways in which we can do. Uh, and if we all put in for the ballot, then we maximize our chances of, of getting it drawn. But I think we can also internationalize this issue beyond the UK. Uh, I was very struck by a recent letter from the US Congress, from US congressmen, um, struck by how cross-party it is, making the, the basic point that they were in favor of democracy and the rule of law in a way that was very difficult to argue with. Uh, I think there would be similar concerns in almost every uh, uh, friendly democracy. And so I would like us- We did, we did. Uh, yes, I would like us to do, not just a, uh, uh, a cross party letter from you know uh, to the UN or to the Pakistani government, but to see if we can do that with our colleagues from the US, Australia, and so on. I think that's a, a, a something that could easily be managed. But one idea I've had, I'm open to suggestion on this, but I think it would neatly illustrate the nature of what is happening in Pakistan. Uh, Imran Khan is a graduate of Keeble College, Oxford, uh, and he was recently. I think the Chancellor of Radford University, where by all accounts, he was very popular, both with students and with faculty, took the job very seriously, didn't just do it as a, an honorific uh, uh, sinecure. The Chancellorship of Oxford is up now and is open for election. Uh, it, there's no rule that says you have to be an, uh, an Oxford graduate, you have to be a, a graduate to vote. Uh, but it's that's a large uh, electorate. I would love to see Imran Khan being a candidate to be Chancellor of Oxford, because nothing would so uh, poignantly demonstrate the difference between what is happening in Pakistan and what should be happening in a country that is law governed than his being able to contest, uh, contest an election here while still in a jail cell in Pakistan. So those are, those are some ideas of what we could do now to take this forward. 